getting into a back and arm workout. We're gonna be really focusing on our back muscles, tightening and toning here, get rid of that bra bulge, but we're also going to be touching on our biceps and our triceps all in one. This is gonna be a great workout. All you're gonna need is a band. I put it up on a staircase so I can have a little bit more leverage to hold down on. Use whatever you have around your house. And then I'll show you in a couple of the other exercises you're gonna need to have a door. And this band set is great because it has a door jam to hold it. it. Really has helped me tone. It's almost like having the exercise machines at the gym at your house just with these little bands that take up almost no space. And there's like five different kinds different weights and it can go all the way up to like 150 pounds. So push yourself, I've added a third band on now and I'm really seeing some good definition and goals without even going to the gym. So let's get right into it. I'll walk you through the exercise and then how many reps and sets I do in this. So let's start with our lat pull down with single arm emphasis. Three sets of 15, we're gonna get down into a kneeling position. If you need a mat, put it under your knees. I've got mine up on a stair, and I'm gonna pull down just like you would in a lap machine, right in front of your chest, as far down as you can go to your chest, and with the single arm emphasis, we pull down even further. And then we come back up, come down to our chest, and then do it on the other arm. We're gonna do five single arm emphasis, and then five regular lap pull downs at the end. So, it looks like this. You're gonna do three sets of those, so it's basically 15 reps total. Five single on the left, five single on the right, and then five both arm lat pull downs. Now we're going to do a bicep exercise. We're going to do three sets of 14. We're gonna do side bicep curls with a hammer curl. So on the side bicep, you're putting your elbows into your sides here and you're lifting up out to the side, not to the front, like a lot of bicep curls, but out to the side. And then you're gonna flip over with your palms down and do a hammer curl. And then out to the side, flip your hands open. One, two, I would use a medium size um, dumbbell or heavy. The more muscle you want to build, the more calories you want to burn, the heavier the weight. I have a medium set of 10 pounds for this workout. So for this next banded workout, like I said, the band set that I have, and I'll link it down below, is it has a door jam. But you don't have to have the specific kind. If you have just a regular band, you don't even have to have the handles. You can do this with any type of band. Find something heavy that you can hook it around and just be able to pull down on it. Make sure, like I said, it's heavy enough so the thing don't come falling down on your face or something. So, but for me, I have this little door jam. You can actually even make your own. It's literally a piece of cloth that goes inside of this band here. And then there's a little stopper. So I just slide it right up here, here and the door. And I slide it up usually to the first we're ready to start doing uh, wide grip pulls first. So our palms will be facing up and our legs are slightly bent, digging our heels into the ground to hold us in place. And we'll lean slightly forward and then pull back. You're squeezing your shoulder blades together, almost like you've got a pencil back there. You don't want it to fall out. You lose $100 if that pencil falls out.
12, okay, and now we're going to do close grip. So we're gonna come, we're gonna put our palms facing each other, and we're closer in together now, kind of pulling in between our legs, and then pulling that band back towards our hips again. Squeezing back. Okay, we are doing another superset. You are going to get back to your bands and you'll need to put it on. I use a staircase or something heavy and sturdy that it can stay in place while you pull the bands down. We're gonna do three sets of 10 to 12. So 10 reps if you're doing a heavier bands. I've got three on mine, so it's fairly heavy. So three sets of 10. If you've got lighter and you've just got one band, I would do 12 reps. So let's get right into this. The first exercise of this set is going to be cross body pull. So you're gonna hold one um, hand steady where it's gonna hold the band in place so it doesn't come flinging at your face. And then you've got your other working arm, we're gonna do our left. And you've got your right leg in front, bent kind of in a lunge position. Show you so you can see the legs. So we're like this, see it? And then we are doing a cross body pull down to our hip bone. So that's one. And you're turning your hand is up and then you're turning it towards your body as you come down. And then we're gonna do our rear delt pull right after that set, and I'm gonna do 10 of those. Have your shoulder, I'm sorry, your elbow slightly up. That will work this muscle right here even more. Here in the same leg position with your right leg forward, pulling back on your left. Okay, and then you'll switch sides and do 10 of your uh, cross body pull downs and then 10 of your lat pull downs. And we're gonna do three sets of those. Okay, the last exercise we're gonna do is gonna focus on your back, but also on your triceps. So we're gonna get into a bent over position and these are gonna be pullbacks with the tricep kickback. And we're gonna do 10 of these. So that's one. You're keeping your elbows close to your body. You're pulling straight back, squeezing your shoulder blades together, and then kicking those um, weights back towards the wall behind you. Gotta love back and arm day. That was a really good workout to tone your back and get in on those triceps a little bit and your biceps. I would recommend doing this workout at least two times a week to really start seeing that definition in your muscles. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, ding that bell so you don't miss any of my future videos and don't forget to subscribe so you see exactly when those videos are coming out. I will see you guys at the next one. And remember, it's about progress, not perfection. No perfection going on here. See you guys at the next one. Bye.